Hi guys, I have a very exciting video for you today. It is going to be about orchids and not just any kind of orchids, it's gonna be about cloesias. Here's a little backstory for you guys. Some of you may have seen this video, but back in February, my husband took me to my first ever plant show and I shared with you guys in that video how obsessed I was about Cloesia Rebecca Northern grapefruit pink orchid. I, it was just my obsession. Out of everything that I've seen that day, that was the only one that I absolutely had to have it. If you guys know me well enough, you would know that if I like something and really, really want it, I will find a way to get it, which of course I did. That's why we're making this video today. I did not just get one, I got four. <laughs> As they say, go big or go home. The road to get the orchids of my dreams was very long and it required a lot of patience, but I'm also a very patient person, so I got them. I actually have four of them and I will show you all of them. There's three different varieties, but essentially they are very, very similar to one another. I finally got all of them back in July of 2023. And I gotta tell you, these type of orchids, it's not something you can buy all year round. They are available at certain time and I will tell you where to get them after I show you them. <laughs> And a little bit about the care for this orchids. Just keep in mind, I am not an expert on this type of orchids whatsoever. This is the first time I own them myself. And obviously I'm still learning about them. I can at least share with you guys what I know and what have I done so far. So let me start off with the first one because I didn't just get them, you guys. I also bloomed them. Look at this so beautiful this is cloesia grace dunn absolutely gorgeous and look at the blooms you guys they are so fuzzy and they smell so good the scent on this orchid is a very very good mix between citrus and ginger very very pleasant pretty strong scent I wouldn't say it fills up the whole room, but you definitely know that it's blooming for sure. Very pleasant, absolutely gorgeous, you guys. I have two of them. They are absolutely the same kind. I got two just in case since, you know, like I said, I'm not an expert on it. I have never grown orchids like this, and especially with the dormancy period and all that kind of stuff. The one that I originally really, really wanted, which is Rebecca Northern Grapefruit Pink, is right here. I mean, nothing really to look at at this point because it's not blooming. Just a little chubby stump right here and there is a second one, very tiny. So I would assume she would probably bloom for me next year, hopefully. <laughs> and the fourth orchid I have right here, it's pretty big, you guys. And this orchid is not from the same place. I will tell you later where I got them from. This one, I got it on eBay. I assume this person that I purchased from is some kind of orchid collector because the pictures of the mother plant had a ribbon on it. So I would assume he's some kind of collector that knows what he's doing. So I did end up purchasing this orchid from him. Look at this. This is insane, you guys. She is pretty big. And this one is Cloesia Rebecca Northern Jeff's baby. I don't know if that's his creation. I don't know this person at all, but there is a lot of orchids in there. It is pretty big and it's also blooming for me, except this flowers are not open completely yet. Hope you guys can see it. There's a ton more buds over here. There is, um, I don't know if you guys can see it. There is another set right here. They're very tiny. And there is another one right here. So this is definitely gonna be so beautiful once they all bloom. Flowers on this orchid, although keep in mind they're not fully opened yet, but I do feel that they are going to be a lot smaller than Grace Dunn right here. But they are equally beautiful, you guys. They also have that fuzzy lip. And they are so adorable. And the scent on this orchid, I actually smell more ginger on this orchid. As of this one, I also catch a little bit of citrus. So 
very very cute you guys so if you guys are looking for something like this which i can tell you right now it's definitely not a beginner plant but i managed to keep them alive since last july and bloomed two out of four so that's pretty good but this orchid definitely have a dormancy period so originally in the summertime they do have foliage they get like the foliage on the little guys right here was pretty big they they're just long green leaves that looks like corn stalk leaves <laughs> I don't know nothing impressive with the foliage at all and they get pretty big this guy was full of foliage it, it was huge it was basically taking up my whole window in my kitchen with the foliage so that's how I got them and over time basically the foliage dies back and it literally just falls off on its own and that's when you know that these orchids are going into dormancy. When this orchid's full of foliage and it's growing season for them, you definitely have to water them a lot and you have to fertilize them every time. I want to say in November, I was only watering them maybe once every couple of weeks. And I believe in January, I completely stopped watering. So that's why they look a little shriveled because they have not seen water in quite some time. And it's very important to get them into dormancy so they can bloom for you. <laughs> and also with this orchid right here, the roots that they have they have which is you can see there is some roots over there all those white little things these are roots and basically what happens those roots are not viable they just die back as of right now i'm still not watering this orchids at all which is kind of nice taking a little break from watering some plants i guess down the road i would assume after they're done blooming they're gonna start growing new roots and new foliage will start emerging and once roots are i don't remember exactly like one and a half inch to three inches long i believe that's when you guys start watering them again so but again you guys i am not an expert this is what i've been doing and what helped quite a bit was learning how to take care of this orchid is actually the owner of the place that i got them from three smaller orchids that i showed you guys all of them i got from sunset valley orchids they are based in california and basically they specialize in orchids only if you guys are looking for cloesias that's really the only best place you can get them from based on my experience i guess looking for them for such a long time keep in mind this type of orchids are not available all year round and that's why i had to wait for so long to actually acquire them the only time they are actually available is starting from july and going into probably fall and that's about it so you have a pretty short window of getting them and that's probably why i could not find them anywhere and the same with this orchid although i got it at a different place it was still the same window when i was able to purchase it and if you guys are gonna shop at sunset valley orchids i can tell you right now the owner of the place his name is fred clark is absolutely incredible human and i know that because i spoken to him a few times because I was really obsessed and I really needed to get those orchids and I actually happened to call him at six in the morning. Please don't do that. <laughs> I only did that, you guys, because I totally forgot that there is a three hour difference in California. And I gotta tell you, this man was so nice to me. <laughs> we chit chatted for a while and only after a while he mentioned that it's six o'clock in the morning so i'm not sure if i would be that nice if somebody called me at six in the morning but from conversation with him i was absolutely amazed how much he loves what he does how much he loves these orchids that he's growing and um i mean not just these kind he has huge variety of orchids for those people who are collectors definitely a great place to check it out he was also so helpful you guys and by the way this video is not sponsored by them i have never told him that i have a youtube channel i just was so amazed how much time he took to talk to me when i mentioned to him that i just really want these orchids but i don't really know anything about them <laughs> 
<laughs> I don't even know where to start as of care and he was nice enough to actually go over everything with me and he actually emailed me pretty much everything I need to know about Ploesias and also there is some other orchids right here so that was absolutely baffling to me and that basically tells me how much this person cares and loves what he does and I could tell he was just so happy to talk to somebody about plants. It was so nice. I felt like I've known him for a very long time. And also what I found very interesting, if you go on their website and join their mailing list, that's how you will know when certain plants get in stock, including the Cloesias. <laughs> And also I found it so interesting. He actually sends out information as the season progresses and I think that's probably why I was so successful with growing them so far and blooming them because as the season progresses I would get a little email here and there letting me know that this is the time to slowing down and watering on my cloesias and this is the time when I stop to water and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get an email when it's time to start taking care of them again for the new season and i was absolutely amazed that they do that it is so helpful it is so nice and i love that they share all of this information and they really want people to succeed taking care of their orchids that is absolutely amazing so again not sponsored by them if you guys want to support them right here i have their information you guys definitely was a huge pleasure purchasing from them so here it is you guys little cloesias my dream orchids finally have them finally bloom them and i'm so happy that i was able to get them and also bloom them you guys and actually keep them alive for this long that's pretty impressive for somebody who really had no idea what i'm getting myself into I guess this is it for today's video. If you guys like this type of orchids or if you guys looking for a new plant challenge, definitely try this guys out. They're pretty cool. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give this video a like, share with your plant friends and subscribe if you want to. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.